Hello friends, welcome to another video. This is part two video of um, uh, the previous video which I just released a couple of days ago where you have a text or value selector for multiple slices and then we are searching the values, selected values from those slices, multiple slices. Again, I want to make sure uh, you understand multiple slices and searching the values in a uh, text string. And if the all the values or the selected values matches, then we 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 um, we're keeping those records, and the the rows which does not match, we are filtering those out. Uh, this is part two video. Again, I will put the link of part one in the description of this video. Do check out. And before I uh, move forward with the solution, this video, uh, one thing I really want to again um, point out here, uh, I'm about to start a new. Um, Power BI course on uh, actually this course is not pre-recorded this will be live and I will be sharing more details how you can register for this course and it will be free of course I, I mean most important so stay tuned about that and uh, uh, subscribe my channel and I will share more information about this course in the coming days um, anyhow let's get to uh, our video and uh, and uh, uh, but I'm not going to uh, repeat what I did in part one. Do check out that video. That will help you understand where we left off and what we're doing in this video. So let's get to Power BI and take a look. Uh, in part one video, remember we had an issue. If you have a, a no value selected in any of the slicer, that by default it has been deemed as everything is selected, which is unfortunately there is no solution for that. And uh, if you remember in this particular case, allergy and recalls does match in certain rows. Uh, but since nothing has been selected in the course slicer, it is still treating that it has been selected. And then that's why all these selected value in the calls and all effective selected, no, none of the row matches those five values and nothing is total value selected is not showing up. So what's the solution for this? Let me show uh, something here before we get into solutioning. Um, I'm going to create a measure called test measure. Uh, what we're going to do is, um, let's say we're going to say, okay, how many total rows are in a table? For example, I'm taking uh, cause as my table, as a, just, just for this example. So I'm going to say total rows. So what that would be, um, we can say calculate count rows in our text. Um, cause and then all or remove filter right so what does this mean is if it uh, doesn't matter uh, calculate sorry we're saying okay if whatever the slicer we apply uh, we are removing the filter and then we are returning all the rows in this case in cause table we have three rows it will return three and then we can go selected rows and that will be count rows that's pretty straightforward we're going to uh, text um, goes table and now let's say total rows is not equal to selected rows it will return true or false right so that's what it is i'm going to put this uh, uh, my here in a card visual here text test my year it will it will return true or false it's false right now because nothing has been selected so that's why it is false and because we are saying is if total rows is not equal to selector rows right now selector row is also three because again in power bi if nothing has been selected in a a slicer it means it treated as everything has been selected right so it's saying three is not equal to three that's why it's false if i go peanut uh, it's going to say true because now we have a 3 is not equal to 1 that is true and uh, in this case if I two values like the 3 is not equal to 2 that means true and if I select the third one it's going to false right again because 3 is not equal to uh, 3 so that's false now the problem is because if you select any value if you select all value or if you select no value it is treated as everything is selected and that's a uh, that's the challenge with our current solution. So we cannot, um, we have no way to knowing that if uh, any value has been selected. So what is the alternate for this? 
So the solution is going to be a little bit, we have to go in a hacky way, uh, hack the solution to make it work. What we need to do is because we cannot determine, uh, because what we want is if allergy and recalls are selected, we just want to check these two values. We don't want to check all other three values, but we have no way knowing that no value has been selected in the cause. So what's our way to solve it? Uh, we need to add another row in each of these um, um, tables which used in the Myers to make it work. Let's take a look at that, what we need to do. All right, so what I did is I added one another row in these two tables uh, as in a, a you can call it whatever you want to i call it none um uh, i did star none so that it's at the first uh, um, uh, value is sorted order in the in the table and both in effect and cause table so there's a none and none so what does it means is if none value is selected right and then i can say you know uh, it it means uh, I don't want to consider this uh, cause. So basically, right now, if nothing is being selected, all these four rows are selected. Remember, uh, I'm keep on coming back to that. If nothing is selected, it means all the values selected. So what I can now check, okay, if uh, in my opinion, if none is selected because that is part of all selected, it means I don't want to consider this slicer. And uh, only I want to consider if known none values are selected, right? If apple, peanut, raisin selected, then I treat, treat it as, okay, that's a good selection. As soon as none is being added, either um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, a, it's an invalid selection or no value uh, has been selected. So I want to exclude, I want to check that. Um, so that is the only way to do that. So what my actual solution is going to look like now, if we go back into our uh, original measure. So remember original measure, what we did is uh, what value has been selected and all that fun stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to check if none value has been selected. So what we can do is we can add another uh, cause none selected. I can now check. Um, count rows filter and uh, text cause and then I can say cause not equal to as actually equal to none I don't actually use filter why I'm using filter uh, actually I should uh, I have to because to return a table so I can say none so now this none here you have to make sure it's the same exact value what we added in the table so what I'm saying is check in my tax course table uh, based on the selection if none value is being selected right so give me the number of rows it's always return one if it is selected it will return one if it is not selected it's, uh, it's going to return uh, a blank value so basically right now, if nothing is being selected, I will get the count rows as in a one, right? That will tell me, okay, none is being selected. Similarly, what we need to do is, for, we need to do this for um, uh, a fact, none selected and this one will be text, effect, text, effect, effect column none right so now we know none is selected or not selected now when we union these two tables together here we can add another um uh, actually we can leave the union here what we can do here is in the values so we can say filter where cause none selected is not equal to one or black so what I'm saying is only return my selected value. If, if none is selected, then re return blank. Otherwise return what is being selected, right? Because we're saying cause none selected is not equal to one, right? Or equal to blank, whatever we want to either way. So because if none is being selected, right? 
that means if no value selected in the slicer none is treated as in a selected we will get one uh, as an account row so what i'm saying is if there is value one in cause none selected my variable then don't return it i uh, treat okay none has been selected i don't want to consider this slicer values right that's what i want to uh, determine from here and then again similar thing here filter cause none uh, in this case uh, the fact non select is not equal to one so the rest of the logic is still gonna be the same in my opinion yeah i think so i'm just checking my notes here okay so let's see how does this make a difference all right we are getting um values here which does not make any sense because i don't expect these values to show up so why these values are showing up Okay, so in this case, I don't expect it to show any of the values because if our logic is working, uh, a fact will return since nothing is being selected and we we saying, okay, if none, in this case, we, uh, we none is being selected and uh, that means uh, this will uh, return a no table, a fact table and no causes table so basically the union will be a blank table and uh, <clears throat> and we say union is a blank table selected cause and effects and then we have a count of selected values which will be blank and is matched is uh, Is blank right because this will be blank so it's going to blank and blank is equal to true and that's the problem so I think we need to add another condition here uh, again I will explain that I think I know the problem and what we need to do is not is blank uh, selected uh, count of selected values I don't like how it has been filtered. Uh, sorry, formatted. So let's see. This is matched and not is blank. Da da da. And then uh, my computer is super slow. Okay. So let's see if this fix, and then I can explain uh, what's going on in here. Oh, perfect. So the value has been disappeared. So let's look at that. If we have allergy and recall selected, so we have three rows only, which is what we wanted. That was an example a operator posted in the forum. Uh, so that seems like it's working. So if we add uh, select the rays in here, it's only one. Yeah, we saw that the, in the previous video, uh, allergy recalls and raisin was only returning one row. So if I remove raisin, it means now it is only checking allergy and recalls in this case. And it's not uh, adding these four rules as part of the table because none of this, what, because we are checking none is not being selected. If none is being selected, then we are ignoring um, uh, to uh, uh, append the rules together. So, so this seems like is working, but let me go back to the Mayur and to make sure I explain it um, uh, uh, for to you guys. So let's go one by, line by line here. What we did here is first we checked, okay, if none is being selected or not in the cause and effect table. So there's a two ways you can have the none is not uh, is being selected. If nothing is being selected in the slicer, it means none is being selected because when you have nothing selected, all the rows are selected. So we're saying, okay, whether none is selected, when either you manually select it or you don't select it, uh, not, no, none of the values being selected, so none is selected. So give us a, this will give us a one or blank or one or blank or zero, right? So that's what it is doing. So then we are saying goes okay if if none is being selected, that means we don't want to. Uh, return the table from the uh, uh, text cause and text effect which are used in the slicer, right? So if if none is selected, then uh, we don't want to include any value uh, from those tables. So that's what we're doing. 
and then we are appending those tables together until this uh, i think hopefully everything is clear and then th this was very well explained in the previous video nothing changed here and then we said the count of selected values how many values have been selected which is just a, a count of rows of this particular variable and then only addition we have to do is because what was happening is if we have no value selected in both the slicers and uh, the, what what we were getting the union was just returning a, a no table and the uh, the count rows was blank and also in this particular case uh, because none of the value was matching this was returning the blank and uh, what it was doing is blank is equal to blank and then when we when we, when i put the solution together if none of the value was selected in slicer we were seeing the value in all the rows and that was the reason because it was saying blank is equal to blank but when we added this condition we said okay we want to make sure at least one of the values being selected and uh, then everything uh, worked so i think uh, uh, at this point of time what happened here um, so yeah. oh yeah so at this point of time i think the solution is working uh, the one of the drawback in this solution i just really want to point out here if i say allergy uh, that's just i only selected allergy in this particular case if i just select allergy these are the four five rules uh, it, which has that word allergy in there working perfectly fine but if as soon as i select none this is gonna actually allergy and none and this is going to disappear because none is for us to catch if it, that means none overrides any of the selection or if we have nothing is being selected uh, that means uh, none is being selected and as i said none overrides everything sorry for whatever reason my camera stopped working uh, anyhow um Again, we have the solution in place. Um, uh, you know, there is a little bit of a, um, in certain conditions, uh, it's not a perfect solution, but uh, we don't have any other alternate because we don't know uh, or no way to find out uh, to, if none of the values being selected in the slicer, how to find out that part, right? So I have uh, created a, a workaround to add a call, a, a row with the none as the value. That value can be anything. Uh, end of the day, uh, I really enjoyed doing this video because it was a little bit challenging and it was an interesting uh, problem to solve and um, I enjoyed it and I hope you learned a few things out of it. Uh, do leave your valuable feedback and comments and also as I said at the start of the video, I'm starting a new Power BI course uh, in, gen in, in next year 2024, still figuring out all the details and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified and I will be sharing all the details about this course on my YouTube channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Cheers.